Hey everyone pushers, my name is Nick and welcome to Indie Showcase number 8. This one's probably going to be a little bit shorter, uh, it's only 3 games instead of the usual 4. I've been recording these over the last week when I've found little games and I just, I'm just i sitting on them and I just want to get them up. So that's why there's only 3 videos and that's why in the first game I'm going to have a slight outfit change and then be back to what I'm wearing at the moment. It, what, just look, oh, look over there, there's an intro. Okay, this game is called Hope. And this is again it was made for Game Jam and apparently it's an interactive slice of life experience. I don't know what that means, but and I have no idea what to expect, but we've we've just been thrown straight into this, so we're gonna go. We're gonna go explore. See what life has in store for us. Shut up. Get my coffee? No. Calendario. Oh, that's not normal. Okay. Interesting. It's very ominous, the music. Hello? Was that someone knocking at the door or someone trying to get in? Well, I can't open the door anymore. Ah, I can open this door now. Ah, okay. Well, this seems bad. What's oh, there's cigarettes and new paper. My coffee is there now. And the clock is still going mental, Alice. What a date, actually. So the date today is the 11th of Marazor. Anything changed out here? I don't know if the buildings, smaller buildings in the middle were there before. I imagine they were, and I just missed them because I was looking at the buildings in the back. It's very hazy in here. Uh, we're going again, are we? Okay. What's this? Noob games. Love it. Okay. Uh, let's double check that. Was it? Did I say the eleventh? I mean, it certainly wasn't the sixteenth. That changed quicker than I was expecting it to. Okay. Is going on. So okay, it's only been a couple of days, but I have made a lot of mess in a couple of days. I feel like whoever I am, I'm not having a great time of life. Something I'm enjoying pizza though. God, I'm worried about how bad this is gonna get. Oh, ah, we're going outside. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so apparently we're just on a black screen now. That's fine. Um, interesting. Interesting. And quite effective. Because this has been one of them games that doesn't really tell you a whole lot and just leaves it open to your own interpretation, which I quite like. Especially games like this where it's a step-by-step. -step. You can see time going on. You can see kind of the gradual deterioration of of the things around you and then I guess the going outside is it's either a, a metaphor for, for breaking out of the cycle you're in or it could even be related to quarantine that we're all in at the moment so don't know but it was good you can kind of take a bit what you will but yeah this is cool very cool this is Monsters Arena and this I mean it looks like a bit of hack and slash kill waves of zombie fun so yeah. uh, okay okay i guess we won't be doing story mode survival it is i'm hoping there's some music there well the sound effects so that's fine oh whoa where'd you come from oh, apparently i'm losing frames Apparently I can change weapons, so what have I got? Hey, I have my sword. Nice. I don't want to reload. Uh, yeah, I think it said every three minutes a boss appears. Probably want to save my good gun for that. Oh, I see. So for every zombie you kill, another one spawns. Yeah, interesting. Reload. That was a lot of crunching. Oh, I'm cute. Oh, why do I keep losing frames? Like I can't, I can't fault the the look of the game. The character model's good. The zombies look different to your normal kind of run of the mill asset store zombie that you see in a lot of games. So that's good. I've just realised that I don't actually appear to walk. I kind of float everywhere. That's good. Okay. Where's this boss then? Ah, I'm assuming this is you. Oh, just die already. I died. What are, you, what are you doing, zombies? No. 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 Okay, that's interesting. Um, I mean, there's a chance I might not be able to use this video because of the drop frames, but if I can work around it, I shall. Okay, this is, there's a lot that needs to be ironed out with this game. Definitely. I mean, add some music for a start. It looks good. Controls are a bit... At the moment but this is a promising start so you've got a lot of good stuff to build on this is dishwashing simulator by dev wolf and brandon penuelas and um, i mean how was i not gonna play this game like honestly let's just get straight into this shall we i don't really know oh okay this is the dish collector when you put clean dishes in here, you will get a point. Okay. Well, I move fast. This is the Dish Cleaner 900. Put dirty dishes in here to make them come out clean. Hello. Floppy of the month. Okay. What the f. Where? Where all the dishes go? What? Oh, God, they're over there. Okay. Bonk. Clean. Oh, is it there? Oh, it's there. I was putting it in the mop bucket. Okay. Donk. That's... 
chuck a few in there. Let's rack up some points in this bad boy. This this music is perfect. It really is. What am I doing? Like, I I don't like doing this in real life. Actually, that's not true. I quite like washing up. Look, this takes away all the satisfaction. There is nothing quite as satisfying as putting something in soak and then giving it a good old clean. Which I think says a lot about me more than anything else. Why? Only one. What do you do? Oh, I can go out here. Oh, okay. Right, let's chuck all you in. Whoa. Oh, this game is so oversped. <laughs> that definitely isn't a word or phrase or anything that anyone has ever said before, but still. Okay, can't go out there. Can go in here. Ooh. Ah ha ha. Upgrades. Okay, extra dish point. When you clean a dish, you get and put in the dish collector, you get one extra point. Nice. Golden dishes spawn in the bathroom. Of course they do. Why they're golden? And you get three points for that. If you put any type of dish inside the washer, it comes out double. And uh, key to leave. Okay, so 100 dishes and we get to leave. Right. We're in this for the long haul, people. We're in this for the long haul. Oh, God. Oh, oh Jesus. The wall grabbed me. Right, okay. Are you clean? I think you're clean. Oh, Jesus. Why are you not clean? Go in. Come out clean. Why do the dishes keep flying everywhere? I'm never going to reach 100. Oh, oh God. Fine. We're on five. We're getting there. We're getting there. We're what? Twentieth of the way there? I think it was on twelve I can get my first upgrade. Very excited about that. Upgrade time! Okay. Oh. Right, okay, and then twenty. I can get the golden dishes. This music is amazing, but I can feel my sanity slowly slipping away. I also don't know if this music's copyrighted or whether this video is going to get me a strike now, but meh. Well, not a strike, a, a warning. That lovely stern flag that YouTube enjoys giving sometimes. Okay, next upgrade. Golden dishes. They spawn in the bathroom. Okay, and they're worth. Why am I in the wall? Get out of the wall. Oh, stop it. Okay. Let's see how many points you get for this because this might not be worth the effort. Okay, I get six points for that. That's fine. That maybe is worth it. Wait, how much was the next upgrade? 30, okay. It's fine. Oh, I'll stop getting stuck. Yeah, screw regular dishes. I'm all about gold, baby. <laughs> the, the sensitivity and the movement speed is so over the top. Oh, and I keep getting stuck in the walls. There we go. Oh my god. No. 
Okay, I'm fully, I'm fully stuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fully stuck. That's upsetting. Okay. Well, I wanted to finish it, but, you know, I can't. Well, honestly, what is there to say? I adore everything about this. Just fix the wall thing and... Mm, perfect. So there we have it. Three small indie games and, again, quite a variety. We've got one that made me think, one that had a lot of potential but didn't really have that much to offer at the moment, and one that was just, you know, it was just weird, but I regret nothing. So if you want to play any of these games for yourself, then the links are in the descriptions below. If you've enjoyed this video, then you know I want it. You know I want it. I want you to find the like button, and I want you to just give it a tender, tender loving kiss. And then, if you haven't done already, you find that subscribe button, and you oh, show it a real good time. But until next time, love you, bye.